Hi guys, it's Sam and I thought that I would do a fun video using these brushes that I had shown in my previous haul. And these are the oval slash paddle brushes, whatever you like to call them. And they were made popular by the brand Artiste, but those are very expensive and I wanted to try these. So I got the brand Yoseng, Y-O-S-E-N-G from Amazon. And I got all those brushes for about $13 and they could even sometimes be cheaper. Um, I know that Amazon had a light, what's what they call a lightning deal and it only lasts for a certain amount of time and... I think those sold for like $10. So you could always find them for a really good price. And so I thought it'd be fun to try to use as much of those brushes as I could in this video. And also I'm going to be using some new products that I have either shown you or put uh, on my Instagram. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply foundation and they give you several of these round type brushes, but this one is really, really big. And I guess if you want to do a very fast application you could use that but I'm gonna save that for powder and so the brush that I'm gonna use is this one right here I feel like that's a good size and I'm gonna be using the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and this one is in the color medium beige which is 04 and it's a tad too dark but the one at Walmart was picked over and the the ones at Walmart were picked over and so I would have gotten the 03 but they only had this one. So I'm going to be putting that on just half side of my face so you can see the coverage. Let me start there. And it is is a pretty thick foundation. So I guess that's why they call it, um, it's a concealer as well. So let's see. So I feel like I'm painting this on, which that is, it kind of reminds me of the paintbrush style uh, foundation brush which is not my favorite but um I feel like you could use this and it goes really really fast so that's kind of good oh I forgot to put my primer on so I'm gonna do that next for my eyes anyway and I wanted to show you actually how thick this is so it's a pretty dense brush and that's great for some things, but I feel like for other things, it's not as good. So I did half this side, and I feel like it has really good coverage, almost full. Um, you can still see my hyperpigment, hyperpigmentation sticking out, but I feel like this, this is pretty good coverage. So I'll do the other side of my face, and I'll be back. Okay, so while I was off camera, I applied the foundation to this side and I also applied on my lids. This is the Benefit Lemonade Color Correcting Eyelid Primer. And so it corrects the eyelids and there is a color to it. Um, it doesn't match my skin exactly, but I think it does, um, it covers pretty well. So we'll see um, how it lasts throughout the day. Actually, it's nighttime now, so I'm going to be taking this off as soon as I'm done with this, but I wanted to really play around, and I thought this would be a fun video to do. Okay, next is concealer, and I feel like I could wear this foundation by itself, but uh, just so I could use other brushes that I have, I am going to use the concealer. This is the Revlon Age Fine Concealer in Medium. And you know what, I'm gonna put that in the other areas. And the brush that I'm gonna use for this is this size right here. I feel like that's a good, um, you know what, that might be too big. Let me see, they have a smaller one. I don't know which one to use, I'm gonna use the smaller one. So I am going to pat this in first and you are able to pat it in, you don't have to just drag this along. But I feel like it takes a while, so let's keep on going. I feel like I'm using a toothbrush, especially with this size one. So the problem I think is that it, you can see it goes rounded, it's not a flat, so it feels kind of like you're, you have to do a little bit more work. Okay, so 
that is done, I am going to try and bake with this. And I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is in Corrective Yellow. Put some on the lid. And the brush I'm going to use is this one right here. So let me get some product on the edge. I think before I tried to put, I put it all over this one. I have used this set once before and it just went all over the place. It didn't really put a lot of powder in a specific area. Okay, and then next I am going to apply powder and I wasn't sure what to do with this big one and I was like you know what this is perfect for I think applying powder so I'm gonna use my Clarence and wait till you see how much I have used of it Ta -da! so I'm really excited about that so I'm gonna just put that all over These are really, really soft. I am impressed with how soft these are for the amount of money that I spent on them, which wasn't a lot. Okay, and then for bronzer, this is going to be tricky because the first time I did it, it just did not look that great. So the brush I'm going to use is this one right here. And this is, what did I just use this for? This is for the, I think I used this, did I use this? No, I didn't use this for baking. I use this for something um so i'm gonna again put that on the top part of it because i feel like if you put on the whole thing it just doesn't apply right so let me just and you might want to use the bigger one for the rest of your face but i'm gonna just try to keep on with this one so that didn't do too bad of a job but i do feel like if this just takes a long time. But I bet you that big brush, if you are one to... Ooh, I just scratched myself. If you are one, if you are one to, like, bronze all over, I feel like this the that big, big paddle one would be really good to uh, use because it's pretty big. Okay, and then I'm going to try to contour, contour my nose, which is something that I don't do... Oh, what did I just drop out my headband? Um, so that's just something I don't do all the time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be using this really thin one. Okay. And they even have a smaller one. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to blend with that, so... Let's see if I could. Okay. And now I am going to dust off that underneath powder there. Okay. And then sometimes the eyelid primer collects in my eyelids for whatever reason because it's probably super oily. So I'm going to take that off. And for blush, I am using a blush that I have just fallen in love with. This is the Bomb Instain Blush in Pinstripe. It's really dark. When I first tried this, I just did not like it. But I was like, you know what? It's winter time, and I feel like it's a really good blush to wear. And the one I'm going to use, I seem to be reaching for this br brush a lot. So I'm going to put some on here. You know what? That might be, I don't know if that's too small. You know what? I'm going to try the one that I baked with. Woo! She's just, I still have some powder left over. So I'm going to use this one. And again, I'll just apply it to the tip. Okay, a little bit more. And then, you can't really see it, but 
Uh, then for highlighter, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Crown of My Canopy uh, Mega Glow Highlighter. And this one is pretty pigmented. It looks like this. So I'm going to use... Let me use this smaller one right there. Put some on. Now, I don't know... I'm going to put it down like this area here. Let's see what that looks like. I feel like this is a little bit too pigmented to work as a good highlight for me. But I bet you it would look beautiful on top of your cheeks. Like your blush, I mean, sorry. So there's that. And then I have seen someone use, this, use these brushes as a lip brush. So I'm going to use... This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And I want to show you the tip of this because it's really cool. So there is a little bit of a dip, so it lays on your lips really nicely. I'm going to dip this brush into here, this rounded one that they give you. It looks like this. And let's see how that goes. Let me take off my lip gloss. I feel like you have to be really precise with this because it could it's not that easy to work with on your lips but this color is beautiful it's called very recognized okay you know what? that is hard to use so I'm gonna just stick with the applicator I love this color and I don't know for some reason I can't apply my lipstick right today and then for my eyes I thought that I would do you know what let me do my eyebrows and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I while I was off camera I did my brows just slightly filled them in and then I use elf's smudge pot and why not and this is just a beautiful color and I just put that a little bit all over my lids for some color. Normally, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow lately. It's just been like that. Um, and then for my inner corner, I really want to show you these two new things. So this is, first I'm going to put Mally's Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Starshine. And just in the inner corner there. And I thought a lot of you who play with makeup would really like this because it just... The little bit of green is just so pretty, and so I'm going to use this, another circle eyeshadow, another circle brush, and just spread that out. And then on top, I'm going to use, this is Jessie's Girl's Mineralized Baked Powder Eyeshadow in Kiwi's, Kiwi Shine. And this is so pretty. Kind of reminds me of Earth. So I'm going to put some on that same little brush and just pop that on top. And I just feel like that is such a unique, um, pretty inner corner color. I know a lot of us like to use like a white champagne or, you know, something golden white, something kind of like that color. And so I thought this little green was really fun. And then... I'm just gonna curl my lashes and we'll talk about the brushes. Okay, so I finished the look and I'm, there's not really much I can do with this hair, but I had a lot of fun playing with these brushes. I feel like I'm somewhat limited though in what I could do. Like I really miss certain br brushes when I was doing this look and these two are the only ones that I did not use. I just not sure what to do with them. I guess you could dip this and apply eyeliner but that's kind of hard to use so um while these were fun i don't know if they're gonna become a must-have in my makeup brush collection like the beauty blender when i found that and i used it 
it was game changing for me. I absolutely love that and I use that every day, but I don't know if this is going to become one of those. These are fun and as a makeup lover, I'm glad that I tried them, but I feel like I am kind of limited as to what I can do. Please let me know how you use these brushes if you are a fan and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I, As far as my makeup, I feel like there's some, some things that I need to fix up and um, it's not the best looking but if you want to try these out I feel like Amazon is a really great way to go um, especially the brush set that I got now I wonder if the Artiste brand would my, my feelings be the same or different I don't know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon bye